एवरी वन टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट हेज ब्रिज सो आज लाइक मैक्सुअल्स ब्रिज दिस ब्रिज ऑल्सो यूज फॉर मेजरमेंट ऑफ अनोन इंडक्टेंस बट इन केस ऑफ मैक्सुअल्स ब्रिज वी आर मेजरिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ अनोन इंडक्टेंस विच क्यू फैक्टर वैल्यू इज लो मीन्स वी आर यूजिंग मैक्सुअल्स ब्रिज फॉर लो और मीडियम क्यू कॉयल्स बट इफ वी विल यूज द हेज ब्रिज वी कैन मेजर हाई क्यू कॉयल वैल्यूज so this is the circuit diagram this is the unknown parameter l1 and r1 which we have to find out then r3 r2 and in branch 4 we are having a series combination of capacitor and inductor and resistor c4 and r4 so let's write down the equations first for z1 z2 and z3 z4 so the value of z1 each what it is a simple rl circuit so it should be r1 plus j omega l1 then z2 is a simple resistive circuit so it should be z2 is equal to r2 similarly z3 is equal to r3 and the value of z4 must be is equal to r4 plus 1 by j omega c4 because it is a series combination of r and c so for making the breeze balance we have to write down the breeze balance equation the breeze balance equation is z1 z4 is equal to z2 z3 so putting the values of z1 z4 z2 and z3 in this balanced equation and now further solving this we will get this is a value and from this we have to equate the real parts here so this omega and this omega will getting cancel each other out so this is r1 r4 plus l1 by c4 is equal to r2 r3 this is the real part so this one this is the real part equating the real parts we will get this equation so it is suppose equation number 1 then similarly from this equation we are equating the imaginary parts and from this we will get the value of l1 is like this but here you can see means l1 and r1 both are our unknown parameters and it bo in both the equations 1 and 2 we are having the two unknown parameters here so this is not the final solution then what we will do now we have to put this value of l1 in equation number 1 so now putting the value of this l1 in equation number 1 and we are solving it like this and finally we will get the value of r1 here this is the value of unknown parameter or unknown resistance r1 it is omega square r2 r3 r4 c4 square divided by 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square this is the value of unknown resistance r1 then putting this value of r1 in equation number 2 equation number 2 means here this is l1 is equal to r1 by omega square r4 c4 so putting the value of r1 in this l1 now what we will get we are putting the value here and after finally we will get the value of l1 is this much this is r2 r3 c4 divided by 1 plus omega square c4 square r4 square so these are the two values l1 and r1 the unknown parameters of this h bridge so now we will discuss that this hayes bridge we are using for measurement of high q coils so how is it so let's find out the q factor or quality factor of this coil so the formula for quality factor of a rl circuit or coil is simply omega l by r or here it is omega l1 by r1 now i am putting the values of l1 and r1 that we found out from the balance condition here in q factor equation and after putting all this value finally i can get q is equal to 1 by omega c4 r4 1 by omega c4 r4 but in case of maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge the value of q factor was simply omega c4 r4 so here we we can uh, tell that if the value of the q factor is high for this unknown uh, coil or unknown self inductance if the value of this q factor is high so obviously value of this variable capacitor must be less 
so this capacitor we can use in our circuit as like maxwell's inductance capacitance bridge the if we will measure for high q coil in that case the value of capacitance was much more higher or that must be bulky and its size must be very size and and both the cost is also expensive but that disadvantages is covered now in hayes bridge means if we need a high q value coil for that we need a low value of capacitor so that low value of capacitor is also less expensive and less bulky so that's why we can use this so therefore when we are going for this hayes bridge so we can measure the value of coil whose quality factor is greater than 1 it is measured for high q coil value high q value okay so this is the difference between maxwell's bridge and hayes bridge now the next part is we have to draw the phasor diagram of this hayes bridge so for drawing the phasor diagram we need to write down the equations so first of all the value of e1 so from this circuit diagram it is clear that e1 must be i1 r1 plus i1 j omega l1 then e2 is equal to resistive branch is here it is so it is i2 into r2 the value of e3 it is also on resistive branch so it should be i1 into r3 i1 into r3 then the value of e4 it is is equal to it is a series rc branch so it should be i2 into r4 plus i2 into 1 by j omega c4 again we know that at balance condition e1 is equal to e2 e3 is equal to e4 and the total circuit voltage e is equal to phasor sum of e1 and e3 or e2 and e4 so this is the data this much data we have to draw the phasor diagram so let's start the diagram now the same thing i am taking i1 as the reference if i1 as the reference i1 into r1 it is a resistive voltage drop so it should be in phase with i1 then i1 into j omega l1 it is an inductive voltage drop so inductive voltage drop will lead the respective current by an angle 90 degree so it is i1 j omega l1 and the phasor sum of i1 j omega l1 and i1 r1 is equal to e1 here e1 is equal to i1 r1 plus i1 j omega l1 so this is e1 again e1 is equal to e2 at balance condition so the same phasor is equal to e2 and e2 is equal to i2 into r2 here so obviously i2 and e2 must be in the same phase so this is i2 i2 may be in the same phase again e3 and i1 e3 is equal to i1 into r3 so e3 and i1 both are in the same phase so if it is i1 here may be this is i can draw e3 again e3 is equal to e4 the same phase must be is equal to e4 and e4 is equal to i2 r4 plus i2 1 by j omega c4 so i2 r4 means this is a resistive voltage drop so this i2 r4 must be in phase with i2 so if this is i2 i can draw i2 r4 in the same page with i2 and i2 into 1 by j omega c4 it is a capacitive voltage drop so if it is i2 so the capacitive voltage drop will lag i2 by an angle 90 degree so this phasor is i2 by j omega c4 and the combination of i2 r2 plus i2 j omega c4 is equal to e4 so here it is this i2 r2 and this is i2 into 1 by j omega c4 so this is e4 so now we got e1 e2 we got e3 e4 and finally we can get 
द एंटायर सर्किट वोल्टेज ई बाय कंबाइनिंग ई वन ई थ्री और ई टू ई फोर सो दिस इज अ फेजर सम ऑफ ई वन ई थ्री दिस इज ई टोटल सर्किट वोल्टेज ई एंड दिस इज द फेजर डायग्राम ऑफ हेज ब्रिज एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल टेल यू अबाउट एंडरसन्स ब्रिज थैंक यू मोर अदर ए सी ब्रिजेस ऑल्सो सो टू नो अबाउट ऑल अदर ब्रिजेस यू कैन वॉच माई नेक्स्ट वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक दिस लेशन गिव इट ए बिग थम्स अप रिमेंबर टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू राइट डाउन योर वैल्यूबल फीडबैक इन द कॉमेंट बॉक्स